Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching our Cloud School. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how to create Azure Key Vault based link service. So far, we have seen various different type of link services option in our other demonstration, but we have not configured any Key Vault based link service. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create it and what is the use case to define and use the Key Vault based link service option with Azure Data Factory. So this is the data factory instance, which we'll be using for the demonstration. So I have this key vault instance created in my Azure subscription. This is a key vault URI, which is of type of standard. The key vault is having a role based access control. What do I mean by that is, is as it is a role based access control based key vault, it will not allow you to create the access policies for key vault. So that is possible when you create a key vault, you can specify what is your permission model for the key vault instance. Is it a vault access policy based permission model or the role based access control model? So for the demonstration, I'm going to show you both the option how to use with either of the permission model with link service key vault, key vault link service in ADF. So let's go to the Azure factory. That is where I'm going to create the key vault based link service. I'll click on the manage and here in the manage you have, you will find different types of link service under the connection link service option. So let's create a new link service, which is of type key vault. And I'm going to search the keyword key vault. And this is the type of link service we are looking for. So I'm going to select continue. And here with, with the option or key vault selection method, it is having the method type as an subscription so i'm going to use my azure subscription in the key vault name to choose the value remember this key vault is of type role based access control not the policy based access control next you have the authentication method so authentication method for the key vault based link service is only two options either user managed identity or the system managed identity which means that there is no key based authentication because it's a simple reason with key vault there are no keys which you can use to connect to the key vault, it's just you assign the permission to connect to the key vault, right? And to assign the permission, you are going to use the manage identity of Azure Data Factory, either use the system manage identity way or the user manage identity way. So with having the authentication method as in system manage identity to the key vault, which means that we need to assign the role based permission to this Azure Data Factory onto the key vault. So let's go to the key vault and assign the permission which it is looking for. So I'm going to navigate to the key vault. Here in the role in access based control management, let's click on add to add new role. With key vault, there are different types of roles available which you can use. So as we're looking to fetch the key vault secret right now, so I'm going to use the role type is in secret. So these, if I filter the key vault roles with the keyword secret, these are the roles which are associated, which is of type secret. And I'm going to select this option, which is a key vault secret user. And this user has a description as in, it allows you to read the content of the secret. And that is going to work with a Azure role-based access control, right? If you click on the detail, you would find that the permission list of permission a particular role has in case if you want to use the custom role that is also possible to use so let's click select this option click on next okay? and then have choose assign access to manage identity because that is something we want to use select the member as in azure data factory from the manage identity option i'm going to select the service as in azure data factory and then the azure data factory instance which we want to assign role to Having this option selected, I'm going to click on review and assign and you, will, you can review that we are assigning a key vault secret user to the Azure Data Factory. Let's click on create and that will assign the role which is a key vault secret user to Azure Data Factory. The role has been assigned. You can review the role right here. I myself have assigned the user role to this particular uh, user role which is a key vault administrator having my role as in key vault administrator i can click on the secret i can verify the secret which it has got so at the moment the secret which it has got is the 
Cosmos DB secret, which means that it has got the Cosmos DB connection string. So what I'm going to do is now using my link service, I'm going to try and fetch this particular secret value in my, the data factory. And for that, let's first of all verify our link service. So as we have assigned the appropriate permission to the key vault, so let's click on this test connection and verify whether our link service is working fine or not. The test connection is successfully completed. Before I click on create, let me just give an appropriate name to the link service. So I'm going to call the name as a link service key vault and then click on create so that will create a link service. So if I'm going to click on this code option, you will see that this is what the code it has as we are using the system manage identity. So there is no encrypted secret which has been used to define this link service, which is a very good option. Having this key vault in place or the, having this link service in place, we can now should be able to fetch any secret from the, this particular key vault and use the secret values in our link service logic anywhere. So let's test this option. And to test the option, I'm going to click on author and I'll go to the resources. So let's first of all create the data set and I'm going to choose the data set as in Cosmos DB. The reason for that is because our secret, what we have in the key vault is the Cosmos DB connection string. So I would like to say if I'm able to fetch the connection string value of my key vault, which is of Cosmos DB. And for that, I'm going to create a data set, which is of type Cosmos DB NoSQL database. So I'm going to select this data set option and the link service here, I'm going to create a new link service. Here, you should not use or you should not expect the key vault link service to be appeared here because this link service type is going to be the key vault or the link service type is going to be Azure Cosmos DB link service, which is for NoSQL. So we are going to create a new link service, which is Cosmos DB link service. Here, the authentication type is going to be account key. The default option given here is the connection string, which means that it will try and fetch the connection string of Azure Cosmos DB from the log using the logged in users access method. So I as a logged in user to this Azure Data Factory instance, if I have access to fetch the Cosmos DB connection string, then I should be able to create this link. But that is not the appropriate option you want to go. So the next option which we are going to use the Azure Key Vault option. So which means that it will ask you to create the Cosmos DB link service using the Azure Key Vault link service. So I'm going to choose the link service which we have just now created, which is a Key Vault link service. Now, this link service has a access or appropriate role to fetch the secret, which means that if I try and refresh or click on this drop down, I should be able to fetch my Key Vault secret. Now, having this secret provided, this secret has the appropriate value, which means the valid connection string details in this particular secret which is a cosmos db connection string if i i'm going to click on the test connection it will fetch the connection string value from the key vault secret and it will try to use that connection string in this link service and try to establish connection using this link service and the cosmos db the point another point to Remember here is the secret version. So by default, it's using the latest version, but if you do not want to use the latest version, or if you want to use any specific version from the top down, you can select if any specific version as well. So let's click on the connection string and verify whether our link service is able to connect to the Cosmos DB using this key vault secret and the key vault link service or not. Let's click on the test connection. My test is completed, which proves that I am able to or my link service is able to connect to the links uh, to the Cosmos DB using the key vault secret. Let's click on OK and that is going to create the link service. And if, now if I'm going to select the container, so using the link service, I'm able to reach out to the Cosmos DB and I'm able to fetch my Cosmos DB database name, which is a GitHub collection. So let's click on OK. So here is the three step process, right? We have successfully able to complete created the data set data set is create is and from data set we have created a link service which is a cosmos db and to 
create a link service, we have used the Azure Key Vault link service to fetch the secret of the Azure Cosmos DB connection string. Say the schema database schema has failed. Let me just verify again one more time. So now if I go to the link service option and if I click on this Cosmos DB link service, which is what we have created using the key vaulting service. If I click on this code option, you would see that the connection string option is type Azure key vault secret is stored. It's using the link service, which is the key vault link service. And this is a link service type, which is a linked service reference. And this is a secret name, which is being fetched with the help of this key vault link service. Again, in this case also, there is no encrypted secret or no other type of authentication is in the use. If I compare this link service, which is a Cosmos DB link service with a link service, which has been created directly with the access key, which is let's say this one, uh, which is let's say this one, it has got the encrypted credential. So comparatively, the option which we have used using the key vault is much more feasible and we can anytime change the key vault or rotate the key vault secret and your dependency or the connectivity will work fine. So that is it in this demonstration. Just to summarize, we have learned how to create the key vault based link service and how do we use the key vault based link service in the other link services to fetch the key vault secret and establish the connections between those link services to the individual resources like Cosmos TV in our example. That is it in this demonstration. I hope you found this useful. If it is, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.